What's going on everybody? This is Jay with Gentle Drinker. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're talking about something really cool, the Swordfish 40 millimeter diver that launched from Zelos Watches on November 10th at 11 p.m. Singapore time, which on the Eastern US is 10 a.m. Now they did launch with six different models, including the sky blue full loom and the ember orange full loom, as well as a black, a sage green, a teal, and what I picked up, the nebula. Now something that's really neat about Zelos watches is that they represent an incredible value for what you pay. They are a micro brand that's doing massive things. So today we're gonna to talk about it. I'm gonna go over the features of this watch, show you this watch. I've had it for about a week, so you'll get to see kind of like some of the wear and tear. It's not reviewed right out of the box. It's reviewed after everyday use. So let's get in. All right, everybody. So if you're not familiar with Zelos watches, they were founded in 2014 by El Shan Tang. He's a guy in Singapore that started a Kickstarter. It was super successful. You can read more about that if you want to. But they chose the name Zelos because it was named after the Greek deity of zeal and passion. And you can certainly tell that El Shan puts that into his watches. So the Nebula is really neat because it's purple, right? You don't see a whole lot of purple watches. So something that I really like about it is just the, the beautiful vibrance of color here. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that more, more vividly. But I, it's just an incredible dial. And any watch enthusiast, well, I'm gonna say most watch enthusiasts, I, I feel pretty confident in saying that, are gonna buy a watch because of the dial. Yes, you have certain brands you're loyal to, you have certain brands that you look for and that you want, but the dial is what's gonna really grab your attention and want, and you know make you want to wear that particular watch. And this dial has got it going on. Man, it's just beautiful. Now it is a 40 millimeter diameter with a 46 millimeter lug to lug. The case is a 316L stainless steel as well as the bracelet. Now this one has the BGW9 Loom. Uh, that does depend on model. You can also get a, a, a Super Luminova C3. It's a flat sapphire crystal with an inner AR coating. An awesome, awesome water resistance of 200 meters. It is a diver after all, so that's kind of where you need to be. As well as a Seiko NH35 movement with a custom date wheel. Now the lug width is 20 millimeters as well. So let's talk uh, about this a little bit. Obviously with a diver, you're, you're gonna get that capability of putting the arrow where you need it in order to tell how much time has passed. You're gonna get a automatic movement. So there's a nice clean sweep of the, of the hand there. <clears throat> and with the bracelet being stainless steel, something I thought was neat. Listen, I didn't even realize this until a few days in. Let's see if you can see this. It's got quick adjusts uh, to, to pop this bracelet right off. You don't even need any tools. I thought that was super cool. And no, it doesn't dig into your arm at all. Like I said, I've had this watch for about a week now. I wanted to wear it to get some real use before reviewing it for you guys. And it's just amazing. Now I will go ahead and show you there is some wear and some like patina and brushing against the clasp here from resting or going in and out of pockets. This is normal. Anybody who has bracelets on their watches, this is pretty standard. Just like a leather watch would wear in, get a little bit more loose and maybe have some patina to it and some wear and tear. A, a steel bracelet does the exact same thing. Except this is actually creating like a cool pattern. I hope you can, you can see that on camera. But it's kind of creating a little bit of a cool pattern. I like it. <clears throat> now on the back here, you've got a picture of the swordfish as well as the model number. Now something really cool about Zelos is that every single watch that they release is a limited run. This is number 128 out of 150, which I thought was amazing considering I ordered this immediately when the clock struck. And I still only got 128 out of 150. So I almost didn't get one, which is just ridiculous to me. But if you understand Zelos, if you're a watch enthusiast, 
you you know why that that happened. I mean, what you get for the money, I'd, I'd venture to say at least out of out of micro brands, there's not a better value representation out there. There's just not. El Shantang is an absolute genius when it comes to innovation and creating value for for money in the watch industry. Just amazing. Now something that's really cool, I'll set this aside for just a moment. The pre-launches um, typically, well at least most of them that I've seen anyway, come with an all aluminum case. And this thing is beefy. I mean this thing, it's really good quality. It's a beautiful brushed look with the Zelos logo. Open up inside, obviously El Shan knows what he's doing because he gives you an area for three watches and a strap. Uh, so in other words, you need to buy two more after you buy one from him. And something I think is really neat, I wish I saw this on more manufacturers, is this awesome metal warranty card. This thing is cool. It's, it's got like a, a super like laser engraved meshing in here with with some watch components, the Zelos insignia, and then it's signed off on um, with the date here that's expected of delivery, not the date that you order, as well as the serial number and, and Zelos. So that's that's really cool. Like I really like this. That is super neat. Like good good job, Zelos. That's just something that's fun and something that just adds some class to something that would otherwise be kind of mundane, you know, just getting just getting a warranty card and whatnot. But talking more here about the watch, okay? I ended up taking about six links out of this. I do I do have a, like an average size wrist, uh, average, you know, smaller to average probably is what I would gauge. But this thing has been really, really neat. Now on the adjustment here, you've got an adjustment through the crown of actually, um, doing uh well first of all it's a, it's a it's a screw crown here actually so you screw that out now going forward it would be your wind you pull slightly one and you got your hand here or i'm sorry i actually pulled too far let's go back down all right so <clears throat> staying in the the first position is going to just be your winder barely barely just a really small movement is actually going to take you to your date if you can see that spinning right there the date at the bottom is spinning and then the next movement is going to be your time so sorry about that it's really really precise you have to just barely pull in order to get that date window and i'll just go ahead and leave it how i had it and screw it back in just for the purposes of this video i'll set the time later but it looks really good on the wrist okay now, I like my watches to be uh, not super tight, but well fit. Get it past the glove here. And see, I, I mean, it's just, it's really nice. I'll, I'll pull this glove down so you can kind of see. When it sits at the bottom of my wrist, it just moves barely forward. And that's taking six lengths out. Like I said, I have a smaller to average size wrist um, for, my, for my hands. But just remember when you take links out, you gotta be able to get it past your hand to get to your wrist, no matter how small or big your wrist is. You know, so keep that in mind when you take it out. But just overall, a very beautiful watch, a 200 uh, meter diver watch, which is amazing. Uh, really good features here with this watch. I, I've been really enjoying it. It's beautiful, it's unique. I mean, it's purple. I, I, anyone who's collected watches or owned several watches over the past few decades knows this industry goes through a lot of phases and most recently we can probably agree it went through a green phase now rolex had the 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 purple watch the oyster several years ago i think it was a red grape or something like that didn't really hit I mean, it was, it didn't sell. They couldn't even hardly give them away. And now all of a sudden post COVID that watch is going for five times its normal sale price and everyone wants purple. So this is kind of cool. Um, I, I showed you the website when we first started this video, but I can tell you because I watched it happen live. The purple sold first, the black sold second, 
and then it was the orange sunburst full loom as well as the teal then the sky blue full loom and then uh and that was all within three and a half minutes no lie three and a half minutes of launch and mind you there's 150 of these so i would assume there's 150 of the rest at least and then the green the sage green finally sold oh, a little over three hours later so the first five sold just like i mean they were gone and this was the first one and then the sage green obviously uh, ended up not being the most popular color but like i said there's a green phase that happened a couple of years or so ago and I, I think that's kind of transitioning out now and who knows maybe purple's the next phase but anyway guys i really appreciate you watching this video i did wear this for about a week i wanted to show you some standard wear and tear on it i don't want to take something right out of a box and say it's amazing or it's awesome or anything like that i want to actually use it in my daily life and make sure that it's going to last and it's legitimate I'm not sponsored by Zelos watches. I just really appreciate what El Shantang is doing with Zelos and who Zelos is as a brand and what they're all about. And the fact that they are telling the industry you can make affordable timepieces with great components and excellent quality. That is just amazing to me. There's a lot of micro brands out there that do massive things. Zelos in my book is probably number one. So thank you guys for watching. Again, this has been Jay with Gentle Drinker. We like doing a lot of videos. We like reviewing products. We like talking business. Uh, we also like doing fun things like shooting and showing you uh, different home life activities and things like that. And we're growing our channel. So if you would be so kind as to subscribe, it would really help. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We're getting this going. We're so glad you're here. We love you. Happy holidays to you all, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.